Welcome to the video lecture of Chapter 6, The Expansion of American Industry, Section 1, A Technological Revolution. Imagine living in a time that there was no electricity in your house. You would wake up at first light and go to bed at dark. There would be no refrigeration of food, no TV, music, iPods, anything you are accustomed to. None of that. But innovations and innovative people are about to change the United States. The Patent and Trademark Office of the U.S. at the turn of the century is a busy place. There they issue patents, licenses that give an inventor the exclusive right to make, use, or sell an invention. Productivity in the United States is also growing fast. Productivity is the amount of goods and services created in a given period of time. Because of this activity, by the year 1900, the standard of living in the United States is one of the best in the world. One of the focuses of new ideas and inventions is on new forms of energy. In 1858, Edwin Drake uses a steam-powered engine to drill and pump oil out of the ground, causing oil refineries to spring up around the country. They used the oil to create kerosene. Gasoline was actually a byproduct of this, and they threw it away. In 1880, Thomas Edison invents a way to produce light within a sealed glass bulb. By 1882, he has set up the first electric power plant. His company was named General Electric. It is told that Edison tried 10,000 times before he found the right way to make a light bulb. One of his friends asked him, how could you keep going after failing 10,000 times? Edison replied, I did not fail 10,000 times, I just found 10,000 ways it won't work. In 1885, George Westinghouse develops alternating current, AC, a competitor to Edison's DC current, direct current. Westinghouse won, and by 1898 there are over 3,000 power stations in the U.S. using AC electricity. In 1889, the electric sewing machine is invented which led to a growth in clothing manufacturing. Also, with electricity comes the refrigerator. Other advances were made in the areas of communications. In 1844, Samuel Morse perfects the telegraph. Soon, he creates a company called Western Union and starts sending electronic messages using his Morse code across the U.S. In 1876, at the age of 29, Alexander Graham Bell invents the talking telegraph. And when he utters the words, Mr. Watson, come here, I want to see you, into his new invention, the telephone was invented. Bell would go on to form the American Telephone and Telegraph Company, or AT&T. In 1869, the Transcontinental Railroad is completed. It is a railway extending from coast to coast. The Union Pacific and Central Pacific meet at Promontory Summit in Utah. Railroads help revolutionize business by transporting goods faster, lowering the cost of production and creating national markets. A byproduct of this is the creation of time zones. They are created to help with the railroad schedule. In 1856, Henry Bessemer creates the Bessemer process, an easier and cheaper way to make steel. He is able to mass produce steel in great amounts. Because steel is lighter and stronger than iron, never dreamed of buildings are now being built. Suspension bridges such as the Brooklyn Bridge and the first skyscraper, the Chicago Reliance Building, are examples. These two constructions become symbols of American inventiveness and hard work.